is the BDBQ News and Review with your host, Mike Bryant. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, for News and Review? I'm Mike Bryant. How's everyone doing tonight? That's all right. Well, there's a lot going on in the world, so let's get to it. The new U.S. Bank Arena in Minnesota is under fire after several species of birds were found crashing into the new facility and dying. Birds such as the California condor, the Arizona hummingbird, and the Atlanta falcons. Oh. We all, you guys saw the Super Bowl, I see. <laughs> Scientists have discovered several new Earth-like planets in the galaxy. Said Sir Mix-a-Lot, that's great and all, but I still want to land on Uranus. <laughs> a town in New Jersey is planning to rename one of its streets to Dick Street. It also plans on changing the app you use to find it. <laughs> Last week, the U.S. recognized National Battery Day, and to stay current with the times, the Holidays Committee unveiled a new logo. <laughs> In lighter news, officials, <laughs> officials in Israel have decided to decriminalize marijuana. This forever changes the meaning of the term lahayim. <laughs> what? Oh, what's that, man? Dude, I'm in the middle of news every. What do you want? You never let me do the news. <laughs> but that's because, like, it, we're in the middle of it. Like, maybe we could think about this for like. Next show awesome, or man. Thank you so much for having me, yeah. Mike. Yeah. Oh. Oh. A lady in Ohio fell off her roof while her shoe uh, laces were untied. <laughs> now, now, Paul, you, where's, where's the joke? Jeez, Mike, have you ever watched comedy before? Uh, no, no, no. But like, you just, you just said a, you just said a setup. Like, you need to like add a punchline, some, something after uh, when you tell the news story. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, all right, I think, I think I got it. You right. sure? Yeah. Okay. A Queens man was arrested for trying to steal eight jars of mayonnaise from a bodega. What? <laughs> That was social commentary. Do you know what social commentary is? Uh, I watched Total Divas on E. I think I know social commentary. Listen, Paul, like you, okay, you said something, but you gotta like add a twist or a perspective or something like that. Something more than like a word. Okay. All right. Well, uh, all right. I got it. I got it. Are you okay. like, really? Yes. You got it? Yes. Okay. Definitely. I have it. A lady in California is getting married. She plans to make her entire dress out of Taco Bell wrappers. I mean, are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Paul Cohen, everyone. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Back to the news. A couple in Japan has released photos showing that they have worn matching outfits on every single day of their 37-year relationship. So yeah, they had an awkward wedding. <laughs> During a trip to Mar-a-Lago, President Trump crashed a wedding reception. He ended up grabbing a piece of cake, a bottle of champagne, and the bride. Oh. Oh. Yes. <laughs> we'll add that on the never again one. Okay. In lighter news, a woman in Scottsdale, Arizona shot her boyfriend in the penis. He survived, but it was hard. <laughs> I love a good pun, I'm sorry. Yeah. And finally, two PWC accountants have been banned from the Oscars after a mishap at the event. So, two accountants were banned from an event containing a bunch of attractive, popular people. Why does that sound familiar? Oh, oh right. That's right, right. Now I remember. 
Now, before we end our segment, a friend of the show has asked to con- give you guys a very important announcement. Here to share that announcement with you, please welcome Fact Man. Fact Man! Did someone say Fact Man? <laughs> Literally just did. <laughs> How you doing, Mike? Oh, so great. So you, 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 had, you had an announcement to make. Yes. Out of the chaos in recent days, my greatest challenge has emerged. For years, decades, millenniums, I have searched for my arch nemesis, and I have finally found him. Alternative Fact Man. <laughs> Al- alternative Fact Man? You may know him by his human name, Donald Trump. So Donald Trump's a supervillain. Oh, indeed, Mike. The worst of the worst. He is the darkness, and I am the light. He possesses all the lies, and I possess the truth. Trump wears baggy suits to cover his inadequacies, and I, like the facts, have nothing to hide. <laughs> that's yeah. a fact. Yeah, that's, I, I see that. But like, I mean, is it really that bad? Like, we're still, we're still here. Oh, but maybe not for long. Trump is trying to divert attention by and indicating that there are many threats to us. Mm-hmm. Mexican rapists, Middle Eastern terrorists, mm-hmm. Australian crocodile hunters. <laughs> None of these are the real threat. So what's the real threat? Oh, Mike, cyber terrorism. Cyber terrorism is very dangerous. and possesses truly the greatest threats to our country. People like Alternative Facts Man and his friend Wakiliax, <laughs> they can do a lot of damage. That's, that's not how you say WikiLeaks. You learned how to say it on the internet, didn't you, Mike? Yeah. Then you're wrong. That's a fact. <laughs> okay, so let's pretend they are, you know, attacking us. Like, is there a way we can, I don't know, stop them? Oh, true. Yeah, yes. yes. As, even though uh, cyber terrorism can affect our, our security grid, our uh, cars, right. really everything that we own, we can stop with Kylie Ass and his friends. <laughs> For a mere $100 million a year. Right, but like we don't have that in like the budget to, to do that. Oh, yes. We don't have an amount that's 0.4% of what it will cost to build a wall that will prevent people from coming in who aren't trying to get in. That's a fact. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, it's pretty bad out there, Mike. Uh, but, oh, are you sad, amigo? Uh, it's, it's not going to be Yeah. Don't. Don't worry, me, amigo. It's 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 gonna be. It's all gonna be okay. And that's a fact. Oh no, no, not at all. Um, and also, watch for the gimmick infringement. That's my line. <laughs> can we can we just like end this on a lighter note, please? Hmm. How can I cheer you up? Mm. Remember the uh, report about alternative fact man in the Russian hotel? Yes. The, uh, the, the golden showers. That's a fact. <laughs> fact man, everyone. For a new review, I'm Mike Frank. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time.